Much respect to acclaimed journalist Torre. He launched a new podcast this month called Torre Show through Cadence 13. It's available on Apple Music. Wu Tang's RZA was the guest this week. The wide ranging discussion tackles how he became the leader of the clan, his relationship with Quentin Tarantino, chess master Bobby Fischer, the time he went to trial for attempted murder charges. It gets deep. In one of the episode's most visceral moments, RZA reflects on the passing of Old Dirty Bastard and explains why he feels he could have done more to prevent his untimely death. Here's a clip. Look, there's definitely an exit door. We know that, right? <laughs> now you'll see some dude 2,000 years old running around here talking to you. But at the same time, that exit time, I don't think the time of exit is mandatory. You know what I mean? I think the energy that's contained within the body will eventually expire. It's like anything, like a light bulb will burn out. But the light bulb lasts longer when the when you kind of just leave it on, right? If you flicker it, like play with it, it might burn out in right. quicker time. You might just blow a fuse or right. something. You see what I mean? And you can blow a fuse. And I, I think that in the case of Asan, uh, he blew a fuse, but we could have avoided it. I do think we could something we could have done because... I think it was part of our negligence. And if we, if you, so if Dirty would have been stopped, and any anybody who went through that path, right? If 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 if, if the other dude didn't take the extra needle, he didn't, if, if 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 Hoffman didn't go into that hotel room that night with the extra, you know, the extra drugs or whatever, you know, the drug dealer himself, like Richard Pryor once said, the drug dealer stopped. They didn't want to sell you no more. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like, no, that's and a the good drug dealer's like, damn. That's a, that's a good drug dealer, though. He's like, you know what, man? <laughs> Richard, Turner, let me get a key but yet, for yet, the weekend. Yeah, but like you see the dude in, uh, in The Temptations, when David Ruffin, not only did they sell him more, they took his car. They they didn't care. That non-compassion is, is, and that neglect, is, to me, takes us out early. And I think Dirk would have had more time with us if not only myself or the other cousins in my family, the, the, his wife, uh, the, the the Wu brothers. We all know that, like Dex said it best, uh, Inspector Dex said it best in a song we made called I Go Through, a time called Time Changes. He said, uh, should have, could have, should have helped you, but I was selfish, Lord. You know what I'm saying? Saying, saying that, you know, worrying about my own self and all the things I'm going through, I didn't take the time to hear your cry and I think we should take the time to hear each other's cry especially when it's somebody who we love and somebody who is important to our community Born Russell Jones, Old Dirty Bastard, died tragically on November 13th, 2004 of an accidental drug overdose just days before his 36th birthday. The autopsy report said it was a mixture of cocaine and painkillers. His 1995 debut album, Return of the 36 Chambers, the dirty version, is hailed as a rap classic. Punch yourself in the face if you haven't heard that one yet. His sophomore album, Nigga Please, was released in 1999 and featured the Neptunes, Irv Gotti, Chris Rock, RZA, Khalees, Little Mo. Many more. ODB would have turned 49 years old this year. Rest in peace, Asan. Check out Torre's new podcast, now available on Apple Music, and visit Ambrosia for Heads for all things dope.